For more, we can go live now to Hong Kong to speak to singer and pro-democracy activist Denise Ho. Denise, thank you very much for joining us here in France 24. Now, do you think that today's march did something to win back some thank of the you. public support after, you know, what might have been lost after recent clashes with police? Yes, uh, it had been an amazing day today in Hong Kong. We had uh, just the official numbers have come out. Uh, the organizers, they have announced more than 1.7 million people on the streets today. And so um, it has been largely peaceful. Uh, we are 11 p.m. right now. There are still, um, I think, about three or 400 people who are uh, gathered and uh, not, not leaving the streets yet. And uh, we are trying, the people are trying their best to uh, get these young people to leave the premises so that we can uh, have this a totally peaceful day uh, without one tear gas yet uh, in Hong Kong. Now, uh, there's been a lot in the press recently about the clashes between pro-democracy protesters and authorities, but just among the pro-democracy protesters themselves, are they divided on the use of violence as a way to fight for their cause? Well, honestly speaking, that it has been a very difficult week uh, this past, uh, you know, since Sunday, actually. And uh, so we had experienced a lot of police brutality and uh, there have been different tactics used by the government where they have been deploying uh, you know, undercover police among the protesters, which uh, you know, we uh, we took a very big blow to the this this trust uh, among the community because the, it, it sort of created this sense of paranoia. And so um, you know, we, we, we had a, a week where uh, people were discussing and uh, you know, strategizing and also trying to recover from this, uh, this kind of uh, paranoia that was among the community. So uh, today was very empowering because uh, we had all the peaceful protesters coming onto the streets and we are still together as one. We are not divided. We, uh, we understand why the youngsters, they have been um, you know, uh, experiencing, experiencing a lot of emotions in the front lines. And uh, what happened last Tuesday in the airport, I think that was uh, provoked by uh, you know, these, these undercover police and also uh, uh, you know, the, the, the journalist, the, the so-called journalist from the Global Times, uh, he was provoking people too. So I think this is somewhat of a, a, a tactic, a usual tactic from the communist government to try to divide the people. But it is not working. We are still fighting very strongly and very united together. As you can see today, uh, uh, with the pouring rain, we still had more than 1.7 million people on the streets. And now you're one of several Hong Kong artists who've spoken out against the Beijing government. How has China reacted to you joining the pro-democracy movement? I have been banned from China since 2014. And uh, with my recent speech at the uh, UN, uh, the United Nations Human Rights Council in Geneva, uh, I was uh, once again you know, named uh, in the in some of the tabloids and also named by the foreign ministry. And so I guess you know they are not happy with me, but still you know I, I'm trying to do the right thing here by speaking up and standing by the people. And just finally, where do you see this pro-democracy movement going? Well, you know, we are in a, a situation where on the surface it seems quite um, you know, impossible to, to fight this uh, huge machine where uh, you know, we are trying only to, to, to gain back our autonomy, what, which was promised to us in the basic law by the Beijing government. So um, you know, there are a lot of uh, skepticism, skepticism uh, from the, the international uh, community, but also there is a lot of support from the international uh, community. So uh, personally, I think we still have a lot of possibilities ahead of us. Um, it is not an easy fight, but um, you know, with the China 
uh, you know, facing the trade war with the United States, with the uh, Taiwan elections coming on next year, I don't think uh, they can use too excessive force uh, including the troops. I don't think uh, it's a high possibility for them to deploy the troops on us. And uh, I, I believe that we still have a chance uh, in this fight. And it, it's probably going to be a very long fight, but still uh, Hong Kong is in the very front lines uh, in, in, in uh, combating this kind of uh, injustice that, that is coming from the, the Chinese government who is trying to infiltrate uh, the, 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 a lot of different areas in the global community. Okay, Denise Ho, thank you very much uh, for joining us here on France 24. No, thank you.